Okay guys, uh, as y'all know I've been sick really bad and I did a video the other day where I sounded like a man or like a really hormoned woman. Uh, I'm sounding a little better so I thought I'd uh, teach everybody how to make homemade ballistics gel. Of course you know I have lots of guns and I love to go shoot. Well, sometimes you want to come up with new and better ideas of things to shoot. <laughs> and the ballistics gel I thought would be cool. See, I got it right here. It's jiggly. Like jello. You can bam, 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 whoop it. I think it's pretty cool, but I'm going to teach you all how to make it. Okay, what you're going to need to make it is this. See that? I use this Knox Original Gelatin. It's what people use to make homemade jellies. Um, I find that this is works better. You know, I mean, and I think it may be a little cheaper, but it works better. Uh, it's four little packets in here, and you're gonna need a cup and a half of water to each box that you use. And you're gonna need your container, of course. So you pour however many boxes of it you want to make in the size that you want to make it. And like I said, you put one and a half cups of water to each box. And then you're going to stir it. They say to stir it really uh, slowly to keep the bubbles from, you know, being in it. But me and Jeff found that it's easier to use an electric mixer. And just, it gets all creamy and white. And you just mix it all up, but you got to let it sit that way so it'll get let the bubbles out. You know, it'll all settle. After you do that, you're going to want to take your container and you're going to put it in your fridge for four to five hours. And then after it's gelled, you take it back out of your fridge, you put it in a sink with hot water. you got to uh, melt the jelly that you just made. Melt it. After it melts, you get you another container that you want to mold it in. And then you're going to take oil. Uh, you can use this kind of oil, it really don't matter, probably, you know, vegetable oil, any kind of oil. That way, whenever you get ready to get it out of the container, it slides right out. You're going to uh, want to oil it really, really good. That way it don't stick. And then you take your jelly, it should be melted by then. Take your jelly, you pour it into the container that you're wanting to mold it in. After you do that, you need to take it set it back in your fridge for 36 hours and then it comes out like this and you just check it out all out of the container uh, I'm fixing to go get ready being I'm feeling better and I'm gonna shoot this and see what happens I guess that told me didn't it Ow. That's it. I gotta put all weight so I can. Damn it, that area is just gonna stay. That way I can fatten up my cheeks. Got that bone. Again. I'm gonna have a bruise tomorrow. If I have a bruise, y'all, I'm gonna show it to y'all. It'll be like right there. Okay. Way down the hill. Get my workout. I see you. Well, I think that that is the end of my ballistics gel. The three and a half inch buckshot, like, tore to pieces up at close range like that. Oh, well. Guess I'll just have to make me a, another one in a better shape. 